Hi everybody, Colin here. So myself and Pat's Pat have put together this session for this week and we hope you're going to enjoy it. So for our equipment, you're just going to need, I've got a basket or a box, I've got a football and I've got four pairs of socks. So three or four or five or six or seven or eight pairs of socks would be brilliant, okay? So to get started, we're going to go straight into animal movements. So what we'll do is the same as last week, uh, I'll call out the animal movement, I'll show you a quick, quick demonstration how to do it and then we get going and we do it for about 20 seconds each, okay? And we go on to the next one. So first crawl is down on all fours. And we're just going to walk around the room, okay? So go, 20 seconds. Let's see you doing it. So remember, all fours, keep the knees off the ground. We're just going to walk around the room. We've got 10 seconds left. Very good. Very good. Three, two, one, and freeze, and up you get. So, next one is the flamingo stance. So flamingo on one leg, and we're going to balance. So let's hold that for 10 seconds. Try not to fall out. And use your arms to keep help you balance. And stay in the same spot. Three, two, one, and change onto the other leg, and hold for 10. So again, you can use your hands to help you balance. And it'll be easier if you stare at something on the wall, it might make it easier. So three, two, one, freeze. Okay, so with that, we're going to do our hop for four, four steps and hop on the other way for four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So let's go. 20 seconds. So we're hopping on one leg for four hops and then we're going to the other leg for four hops. And we'll go back to the first leg. So try to go backwards and then sideways and changing the angle. So we have five more seconds. Four, three, two, one, freeze. Okay, and the next one we're going to do a crab crawl. So this is the one I showed you with a go. So the crab is like the bear crawl, except the wrong way around. Okay, so you're going to go backwards, forwards, sideways. Away you go, 20 seconds. So try to keep that bum up off the ground, like you've got a table, an upside down table. So we've got five seconds left, four, three, two, one, and freeze. Okay, the next one, snake slide. So down we get on our bellies, and we're going to touch our belly button off the ground, and we're just going to slide, use our arms and legs. Okay, so away you go, we go for 20 seconds. Now remember, keep your belly button touching the ground. You can use your arms and your knees to move forward. And we got five seconds left. Three, two, one, freeze. Okay, so next one we're doing the bunny hop. So two feet together, and we've got small bounces around the room. So let's go. We've got 20 seconds. So remember, two feet together. And we're just doing small bounces, and we got about four, 12 seconds left. So keep going, everybody, you're doing great. And five, four, three, two, one, and freeze. Okay, next one is one where we're going to do an elephant. So the elephant is two hands in front of you, and it's going to move your hands around like a big motion and just move around the room. Okay. So big, wide swings, okay? And we go for 20 seconds. So remember now, two hands together, hold in front of you, in between your head, and moving around, okay? And we go for 10 more seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, one, freeze, okay? Well done, we're almost there, six done. We got five more to go, so next one. Duck walk. So the duck walk is down really low. Keep your bum close to the ground. And so walk around the room. Whack, whack. Whack. Whack, whack. We've got 15 more seconds. And keep going. Remember, keep your bum down close to the ground. And just moving around the room. We've got five seconds left. Very good. Excellent. I'll freeze again. And the next one we're going to do is we're going to do a uh, frog jump. So the frog jump is touching over your head, 
jump up in the air. So I'm going to go for 15 more seconds. I'm done everybody. So touch the ground with your hands and jump up to the air as high as you can. And we got five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Next one, the giraffe. So the giraffe is up in your tippy toes, hands up in the air as high as you can go, and you're going to walk around the room. Up in your tippy toes as high as you can. And we go for 15 more seconds. So reach up as high as you can. See if you can touch the roof. Whoops. Watch your balance. And we've got five more seconds. Very good. Next one, the, we're going to do the kangaroo jump. The kangaroo jump is kind of like the bunny jump, so we're going to get two feet here. And we're going to go bigger jumps. So watch where you're going. You don't crash into anybody. But are two feet at the same time and big long jumps. So we go for another 15 seconds. So two feet together and they're both going at the same time. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and freeze. Last one, the same time we did last week, donkey kick. So the donkey kick is down, and the bump in the air, we're just going one leg at a time, kick it off your butt, okay? Or let's go up a bit higher. And let's go. We've got 10 more seconds of that on Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, get a drink. We'll take a quick breather and we we'll go straight back in. Let's give me a thumbs up if you're ready. You should nearly be ready. Okay, brilliant. Next one, socks. So all we're going to do is just going to need one pair of socks. And what I want you to do is you're just going to troll up and catch it with your two hands. You're going to troll up in the air and catch it with your two hands. So try not to hit the lampshade or the light and let's walk around the room just trying it up and catch it with your two hands. Okay? So let's go. Let's practice that for 30 seconds. Troll up and catch it with your two hands. Now when we're catching it, parents, if you want to catch it as it comes down, okay? So if they're struggling, you can try to catch it in against their body, okay? So they can catch it in against their body, keep the elbows in close to the body, okay? So they're catching into the body, all right? But as they get better, they'll be able to catch it out there. So we go for another 10 more seconds. Okay, and we go five, four, three, two, one, and freeze, okay. Now, for some of you, that's probably way too easy. So I'm gonna make it a little bit harder. What we're gonna do this time is we're gonna troll up and we're gonna clap. So we're all watching. We'll troll up, clap, catch. Troll, clap, catch. Troll, clap, catch. Troll, clap, catch, okay? So let's get practicing that and we'll see how good we are. Okay, so troll, clap, catch. Troll, clap, catch. Troll, clap, catch. Okay. So keep practicing, keep practicing. We've got another 10 more seconds. Draw, clap, catch. Draw, clap, catch. Draw, clap, catch. Draw, clap, catch. Three, two, one. Okay. So again, that might, be, that might be easy for some of the people, especially the senior infants. So what you can do, a different variation is draw up, clap behind your back and catch. See how that is. So you can practice that yourself now some other time. Or else what you can do is you can throw up, touch the ground and catch before it hits the ground. That's harder again. So as I said, if you can just do throw up and catch it, that's brilliant. That's a great start. And if you can get the trap in, that's even better. So do whatever you're comfortable doing. Okay, so for the next one is we are going to do from one hand, we're going to throw it over onto the other hand. So I'll just watch out here, parents, that we're not flipping and flopping. So we're just throwing from one hand and catching with the other. Okay, and then throw it back to the other hand and back over. So let's go. So as you're walking around, you can do it. Throw from your left hand, catch with your right. Throw with your right hand, catch with your left. So let's keep practicing that. We've got 30 more seconds of that. So throw from one hand over to the other. And back. And back. And back. 
and over and back. And we've got another 20 more seconds. So let's see if we get 20 throws and catches. And don't throw it up too high because you might lose it. And if you go too high, you won't get to catch it. So start small and close together. And as you get better, you can go further apart. And the most important thing is you're always watching the socks. So you're not looking somewhere else and trying to catch it over there. You're looking at the socks all the time. Watch out you don't put it anything. Okay, so freeze. We go one more, one more. So this one is going to be the hardest one, okay? So one more of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it out in front of my head, okay? And I'm going to drop it, and I'm going to try to catch it with my two hands before it hits the ground. Is that okay? So out straight in front of your eyes, drop it, and then try to catch with your two hands. Now it's really, really hard, but see how we get on. So we go for one minute of practice for this one. So you're going to drop it out in front of your eyes, a little bit your head, drop it, and you're going to catch with your two hands. Okay, or if you catch with one hand, even better. So drop, catch with your two hands. Okay, and as I said, if you get really good at it, you can drop it and catch with one hand. Okay, but I think it's probably too hard, so we we'll stop, drop, and catch with two hands. 30 more seconds, so drop. We'll catch with two hands. Let's see if we can do six more now. Drop. Oh, catch with two hands. Drop. And we got 15 more seconds. Come on, let's see if we can do three more. So I'll drop. Catch with our two hands. Drop. Catch with our two hands. <coughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, get the football. Get the football and back to what we did last week. So we're just going to bounce, take one, two, three, four steps, bounce again, one, two, three, four, bounce again. So let's get practicing that. So you can be using a small ball or a big ball when you're doing it, okay? So I can have a big ball or you can have a small ball. <coughs> Very good. Right, so keep practicing for another 30 seconds. One, two, three, four. Bounce, whoops, really. One, two, three, four, bounce and catch. Two hands to catch. Two hands to catch. And we got 15 more seconds. So bounce and catch. One, two, three, four, bounce and catch. One, two, three, four, bounce and catch. And we got five more seconds. Four, three, two, one, and freeze. Okay. Let's make it a little bit harder. So we're going to bounce, clap, and catch. So we're going to bounce, clap, and catch. So these bubbles, clap your hands, and catch. These bubbles, clap your hands, and catch. Okay, so let's get practicing. We go for 40 seconds. So we're going to bounce, oh, I forgot to clap. Bounce, clap your hands, and catch. Bounce, clap your hands, and catch. Bounce, Clap your hands and catch. So it's really hard. So see how we can get out. We go for about another 25 seconds. So bounce, clap your hands and catch. Bounce, clap your hands and catch. Another 15 seconds. Very good. And remember what I said around, it gets too easy. Try to clap it in your back. Okay. So, very good. Last one, so what we're going to do is I want you to put down two pairs of socks. And with the ball, we're going to dribble it with our hands. So we're going to reach down, we're just going to push it around, we're going to go around the socks and back around the other way. And make a figure of eight. So use your left hand and your right hand. Is that okay? So let's get practicing now. We go for 30 seconds only. And make it let me do one more after that. So remember, just dribbling around the combs and do a figure of eight. So go right hand, and go to left hand. And go right hand, and go left hand. So bend your knees if you're doing it. And ten more seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Freeze. Okay, so I'm trying to stop some and you're going to keep the ball. We're going to do one last one. So this time, so the same as what we're doing, we're going to do a figure of eight with the ball. So into the front door, 
out the back door, in the front door, out around the legs, in the front door, out around the side of the house, in the front door, out the back door, around the side of the house, in the front door, out the back door. So let's go, we'll do that for 20 more seconds only. So we're just doing a finger of eight, in and out through your legs. Just get you to hand in the ball with your left hand and right hand. And we got five more seconds. And freeze! Okay, so that's that's the idea for today. So one last thing we're going to do is I've got two cups and I've got a pair of socks. So what I want you to do is find which cup the sock is under. So are we ready? You all watching now? Okay, so I'm breaking out, right? I'm going to it over here. So if you think it's under this one, give me a thumbs up if you think it's under this one. Okay, and oh my goodness, whoa, how did that happen? Better do that again. Oh, there it is. I'll make sure it's under there. I'll just double check. Yeah, it's definitely under there. Okay, so we're watching, and so I'll just double, yeah, yeah, it's definitely still there. Okay, ready. This one, is this the one you want me to try? Okay. What? <gasps> How that? I'll do that once more. I'll do that once more. This one. You, okay. So there we go. So we're going to just swap this back over once more. This one? You sure? Or do you want me to do this one? Do you want me to do this one? Okay. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Whoa! Oh my goodness. So there you go. That's a bit of magic for today. So I will see you all next week. Now for next week, if you can have a balloon blown up ready to go, we're going to be using a balloon and you can use a hurley or a hurlog or a wooden spoon or something like that as well. Okay, so see you all next week, guys. Thanks, everybody.